We continue our coverage of Pride Month with the world of gaming. It's more complex and diverse than you may think. One organization, though, feels that more work needs to be done to make LGBTQ plus gamers feel accepted and represented. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian has the story. It's as easy as picking up a controller or cards for gamers to find their place of solace. But for LGBTQ plus gamers, this inner peace is more frequently compromised. We get to take care of each other while doing the thing that we love. Play. In 2020, friends Rafi Regulus and Robert Lopez grew tired of the bullying and hatred they'd endure in spaces like online gaming chats. So they founded NYC Gamers. The why behind this? The letter Y in its name, standing for You Belong. And the reason that we use that as our motto is because there's no way that we're ever going to be able to completely stop the violence that exists in the world. We've got to create spaces where people feel like they can claim safety. And they have. They just hosted their annual Gamer Pride event at the Museum of the Moving Image earlier this month, among others hosted at public spaces like libraries to welcome LGBTQ plus gamers and those seeking inclusion. Their work also includes initiating conversations with major game developers. About information that we're hearing from community and suggestions that we have to help create a more holistic environment for everyone who's playing. LGBTQ plus gamers often face bullying in online role play games over their headsets and in public chats. NYC Gamers forms private groups where members can talk among themselves while playing publicly so when they witness bullying from outside players. We're able to say oh no and we leave and then we jump into a new game. That's what it's all about. Lopez and Regulus use their background as licensed crisis counselors in their work in hopes of making their message as widespread as the love of gaming itself. I want there to be an organization that is national and in every city that brings people together, that lets people know that they, that they belong. Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.